This video was sponsored by Enhance, Elbil Mac, a better road planner, Camp Power, and Bill Componente. Yo, what's up? I'm now sitting in the BYD Sea Lion 7, but today I will talk about the BYD Tang, the flagship. Okay, it's actually called flagship. I think that's actually a name, you know, it's like a, it's an object, not a class. But okay, anyway, um, I did the charging test. Actually, I did three charging tests of the Tang because it was rapid gating on all three cases. <laughs> but, but I want to show you guys interesting result on how these BYD blade batteries work. So just roll the tape now and you see that uh, I have different uh, starting temperature on the on the bottom there, the red. And then you see that uh, in, to the left we had, initially we had the best speed already from the beginning. In the middle it was not so warm, then we got go kind of slow-ish. And then to the right, then we have, well it's claimed the best case, but then it charges even slower in the beginning because the low temp, or the lowest temperature cell is low, I mean too low, so it actually cold gates. But if you go now back to the left side, you see that the warm battery, okay, it starts up pretty quick, but Look at the higher cell. It raises really quickly, and you know this car has active cooling, and it it was also working, and it was cold outside, but still it rapid gated because at 51 degrees Celsius, it will start charging slower. But you see now that the left side has a lead, and the middle is and in the middle, and on the right side is the slowest for now. But things are going to change pretty quickly as soon as we hit 51 degrees Celsius on the left side. Boom! Look at that. It slows down slightly, and then at 52, it slows down even more, or it could be 50.5 degrees or whatever. And now we are suddenly reduced to 91, 92 kilowatt only on the left side, and then the middle still maintains that for a while. So uh, you can see that the throttle point on the left. Side Side was around 38 percent. Right side can maintain that, oh sorry, the middle, sorry. the middle can maintain that maximum speed for longer and especially on the right side, we're gonna see now in the middle, eventually the middle will also throttle. But then back, back to the left side, you see we even hit another throttle point at 83 kilowatt because we are at 52 degrees Celsius. So yeah, it rapid gets, active cooling is running, it was around minus 4 degrees Celsius on the, le on the left case. Middle case, also rapid gates now, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but that happened at 50, around 50%, 51%. Then it also rapid gates, the same as the left side. The the uh, right side suddenly rapid gated now also, but it was a little bit later. But um, you see that uh, now all three cases, they actually have more or less the same temperature despite that they started at lower temperature, or depends on what case, right? So they end up with the same, right? If we will have these three, uh, three identical cars charging side by side. But there is one thing I couldn't show in the car scanner here, which is that the warm battery, the first case, had uh, around minus four degrees Celsius. The middle, I th don't remember, uh, um, I think it was also cold, yeah, uh, minus or something sub-zero temperature, but the best case had around minus nine degrees Celsius, and that actually seems to help because the two left one, or I mean the left and the middle, they will eventually hit 53 degrees Celsius and throttle even further. You know, the left case already throttled to 76 kilowatt, whereas the middle is still maintaining 83-ish. Uh, the right side is going slightly better, but you see the right side has now a lead. Um, but it doesn't make any sense because if all three cases ended up with the same hot battery, yeah, yeah and you see now 53, 53 and then 52. So the last case, uh, how the heck could it maintain 52 degrees? I think it is because um, the ambient temperature was lower. Well, how could that be? These cars, they have active cooling, right? <laughs> well, this could be a weakness of the BYD blade battery. Uh, I heard it from someone uh, who said that the, the, the like the Achilles heel of the blade battery is that this, the core, the center of the battery cannot be cool enough. And remember, this is the tongue with 111 kilowatt hours. It, previously, it was 86 kilowatt hours. They bumped up it by a lot. And I suspect that maybe they have packed the battery uh, tighter and then it rapid gates worse. It's like, you know, like the 30 leaf versus the 40 leaf, right? The 40 leaf was the worst when it comes to rapid gating and it just like, it maintained the heat in the battery because 
they put more kilowatt hour in there something like that uh, just a theory i have but um, you guys can just see how it develops now that um, the left and the middle case they are now reduced to around 60 something kilowatt whereas the right case can still maintain 75 76 uh, possibly because the the ambient ambient temperature was higher but you see all of the cases actually hit 54 degrees ah, okay the, the the best case the right case jumps a bit up and down but can go to 53 but also based on 1000 kilometer challenge yeah uh, spoiler alert if you haven't watched it yet then um it seems like the ambient temperature has uh, actually somewhat big influence on how the car can cool down the battery which is strange like huh really wait it means that in thailand this would be quite bad right yes uh, in thailand we have auto three there plenty of auto threes they auto three they replicate at 45 degrees celsius and i've seen it over and over again in thailand that uh, those auto threes when they plug in they get 84 kilowatt which is the maximum speed only for a very short time and then it throttles to around 50 or 60 kilowatt only which is the rapid gate state like you've seen here now in the charging session here so yeah but the, the c line 7 i'm sitting in right now is supposed to have better cooling it's the latest and greatest 3.0 platform and it's supposed to have some kind of improved cooling in the battery unfortunately i haven't uh, been able to make uh, cars kind of work with c line 7 so i am not <laughs> I cannot uh, tap into the battery temperatures, but we will get an, a butt feeling of the charging session once we start charging, and especially when we do 1,000 kilometer challenge. But I'm just going to show you guys here that the best case actually goes to 100% quite quickly. Yeah, that's also another thing. <laughs> uh, it goes from 96, 90, uh, from around 97, 98% to 100% really quickly, and then suddenly it finished charging. Uh, <laughs> so that's also uh, kind of wacky BMS or whatever. But the reason why the best case, the right case, finished first is most likely because it was minus nine degrees Celsius there and some wind. And then the middle case, yeah, finish uh, uh, a little bit slower. And then uh, yeah, when the left case, I didn't go to 100 percent. But yeah, as, uh, just show you towards the end now. Just pay attention to the middle. There, 97, 99, and then boom, okay, and then finish charging. <laughs> And here you see that when you start with hot the battery, then you initially get the faster speed, the red line here. But then it drops also earlier. Uh, well, I wasn't about to say as expected. Well, if you have good cooling, this shouldn't happen, right? And then here, when you start later, then you just postpone the throttle. But overall, it seems like that is a better deal because at least the, the green line here, that's the best case then maybe the ambient temperature was helping it, but you see that it could maintain a higher temperature throughout the span versus the other, well, it was a higher, higher kilowatt, I mean. Um, but was this because you had a, a better start, a colder start or something? Yeah, I'm not sure, but you see, whatever we see here in the BYD battery, we have seen similar case also in Tesla. Tesla, they have better cooling, but they also rapid get. It's like you cannot fix uh, the design flow with the blade battery, right? And okay, I didn't compare the charging session directly with other cars, but at least have, here we can see the, the curves. And I just uh, tried to pull some similar cars with similar battery size or similar uh, yeah, uh, price segment, whatever. But um, Xpeng G9, which should be a competitor, but actually a little bit smaller in size. The G9 charges way faster, way up here, and then just nice and flat, just <laughs> dominates the charging battle here. Well, actually, or the Q6 e-tron, but it's a lot more expensive. But both of these, they are 800 volt, actually, 800 volt car. Well, the Tang is also 800 volt, you know? So, well, 800-ish, well, uh, yeah. But, um, yeah, and then what about the green? Oh, sorry, I don't think green, that was a green light. The yellow line is here, that's EV9. It uh, seems like they maybe have artificially lowered the maximum speed on EV9 because uh, the other Kias, they can peak at over 250 kilowatt. And this is even 100 kilowatt hour EV9 battery. But still nice and flat e-tron like curve on the yellow line here. And then we have this, the, the new Tang. Yeah, this is the best case where it started cool, uh, cold, right? And then it throttles here eventually. 
but compare that to the old tank, the old tank seems to have had a, like a limit on 170 amp and then it was just flat and it went up slightly because the voltage went up. But you see the voltage on LFP battery goes up just slightly compared to some of the other cars here that doesn't have LFP. Then the voltage goes up higher and this is, seems to also be a current limit. And then as the state of charge goes up, then the voltage goes up, right? But the, t the old tank just had a flatter curve and then this happened here, yeah. But you know, when this is said, um, this best case, the blue line here, is actually a best case that you will rarely be able to achieve even during uh, Norwegian winter. Most likely, we will get one of the rapid gated sessions that we saw earlier. So, <laughs> yeah, it's. Um, interesting to uh, try to learn and try to optimize also the charging sessions but ultimately when you just drive it like normal like I did during 1000 kilometer challenge the battery will rapid gate and there is nothing you can do about it there is a preheating button you can well, press it but then it will just say the battery is is, war is is in the right condition no it is not in the right condition it is overheated it is rapid gating it is at 52 degrees celsius but then the car just says no the battery is in good condition no no need to do anything I'm like, ah. well anyway if you haven't watched the 1000 kilometer challenge then make sure to watch it it is uh, good fun <laughs> so that's gonna be for now hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later